can't seem to find relief from allergies this year, a new report says it might be time to ask your doctor about some newer ways to test for what's really bugging you. Health anchor Liz Bonus joins us now with the details on new allergy advances. Liz. Hey Sydney, good evening. Traditional testing for allergies usually involves some skin and blood tests, but now a special type of blood test, according to specialists at the Cleveland Clinic, can help you get a more precise diagnosis of what is really, really aggravating you. And it may not just be bugging you, but it could also be dangerous for your body. Now, the testing involves a blood draw and then uses a special analysis which finds proteins that target really bad responses. So say for example, you are allergic to peanuts. There are three proteins in peanuts that can cause bad anaphylaxis responses. This test then can help you find them. This component allergy testing as it's normally caused uh, or often called is more of a precise way to help you find out even more than just what traditional skin testing usually would do for allergies. It's been used by allergy specialists for a while, but you may need to ask your own doctor about it. It is not always a standard test you are given if you tell your doctor that you have allergies. If plants or weeds, for example, are your problem, it can help you get targets, uh, targeted treatment for what causes your severe symptoms. Not just all weeds, one or two common ones the very ones that bother you. One of the most common allergies this also works for for people is dogs. Dogs have five or six proteins that can actually cause problems in people. Now one of them is actually a protein that is only found in male dogs that's found in the prostate of the dog and an advanced blood test like this can detect that specific one that might be bothering you. What it can really do is help you if you do want to get a pet or a dog, find out which one doesn't bother your allergy symptoms. This testing most commonly done when someone experiences a severe reaction or is really feeling miserable to help you find out what's exactly causing it. Sydney? All very helpful information. Thanks so much, Liz. And if you think you might benefit from this type of testing, ask your own doctor for a referral to an allergy specialist.